Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Keel, and today I want to talk about Tractor 3.1. So this is a huge update and minor bug fixes update. First things first, <laughs> let's get the, the elephant out of the room, I guess. Uh, parallel waveforms. So in the DJ community, especially in Tractor fans, this has been a huge talking point for why people love Tractor and why they hate Tractor. So there's a camp that is like, we need parallel waveforms. And on the other half, the Tractor users, they're like, we don't need parallel waveforms. Tractor designed not to use parallel waveforms. And then it's just going to make it be just like every other generic DJ software. Uh... I used to be in the second camp that the we don't need parallel waveforms until today. I'm big enough man to admit I was wrong. I like how they implemented it. Uh, when I saw the screenshots, the early screenshots, I was like, oh, man, it looks like a fence. But it, it's not that bad. Uh, visually, it's not that bad. I, I like how, how they did it. It works great. Everything's pretty smooth. I ran it for I guess, an hour or so, just doing different scratches and trying to do different things on it. It runs pretty smooth, so I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, parallel waveforms is, I would say, it's a crutch that is second only to sync. And the reason why I say this is, you can visually see if your mix is off or not. Once you line up the numbers for your BPM, you can visually see, like, you're no longer listening and feeling out the song or whatever. You can visually see when it's on beat or not. Uh, so, <laughs> for the people who hate people who use sync, but stare at their computer screen lining up the bars, to that I say irony. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I don't really care. Uh, so, anyways, um, Parallel Waveforms is a major, uh, major new feature. And the second new feature that I love, 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 and I wish this was there from the beginning, is a single waveform on the screen. And this is for when you're doing your beat gridding and putting your cue points in your songs, whatever. And finally, my my biggest issue was uh, I used to do this on the screen when you had two small waveforms on either side, and now you have a full thing going across the screen. And you can zoom in and zoom out on your waveforms, but when it's this tiny thing on the screen, it's annoying, and this helps so, so much. So this is a big plus. I love this, and uh, that's a huge deal to me. Uh, should you do the update? Uh, never do an update before a gig, but uh, yes, you should absolutely do this update. Yeah, it's running really smooth. I haven't had any crashes or any bugs on there. Works great so far. I'm a big fan of this new version of Tractor. Um, yeah, I, I definitely <laughs> putting my name out there, but I, I think you should do the update. Um, I think it's good enough to go and it's good enough to do gigs with. So yeah, basically for me, I never do a 0 0.0 update at a gig. It's always the 0.1 or 0.2. Then I'm like, ah, oh, okay, good, good, good. 0 0.0 is the worst update you could ever do before gigs, just period. Doesn't matter what software it is. Point zero is the worst. Point one, they figure the things out, get the kinks worked out. Point three is probably perfect. If you're at point five, you're good to go. So I was a big tractor user that flat out said we didn't need parallel waveforms. We're gonna be just like all the other software. Uh I like parallel waveforms, man. I'm big enough man to admit when I'm wrong. Uh so, you know, like a lot of people leave comments in the section, like, you're wrong about this. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. I'll go down with the ship about certain issues. But this is one of those issues where I'm like, you know what? You're right. Parallel waveforms works great. Uh, I don't know why it wasn't in there before. Uh, probably they need to switch to 64 bit or they need some more memory. I don't know what it was because tra Tractor does use, <laughs> Tractor uses, taxes your CPU. Uh, I'll say it flat out. I hope that they can maximize the hardware and the software a little bit better. But as it stands right now, Tractor taxes your CPU 
you need an i5 or i7, nothing less than that. Uh, so that could have been the reason why they decided to wait a little bit before giving it, but it works flawlessly. I haven't any, I've run it, I ran it for say hour, hour and a half, zero issues. It was smooth, no stutters or anything like that. And my, my computer's not really top of the line. I have a mid range computer in it and ran great. So, uh, it looks like they got a home run with this. Um, uh, I would like to see. It was it was a huge sticking point with why a lot of people didn't like Tractor, and you know, this subtracts that. So I'm kind of curious to see what people think about it now. Um, and if you don't want to use this thing, you can still use the the original OG version of Tractor if that's what you prefer. And that works as advertised. So um, I definitely think you should update. So to summarize, <laughs> update your computer. Uh, I, I'm, I'm surprised, pleasantly surprised. I like parallel waveforms. Uh, the single waveform way is great. I'm happy it's here. It's going to save me a ton of time. Um, there's some other features about parallel editing for analyzing your songs. And uh, it, it, deduces which song it should be analyzed first and which is more important. So I think that's a cool feature because a lot of times you have the parallel waveforms and it's not, it doesn't do the one that's on screen immediately. And this one focuses on that one first and then does the other ones, but you shouldn't do, you shouldn't analyze a bunch of waveforms when you're doing a gig. Like that just goes without saying, do that before. Um, but if you are, you can't like that anyways thank you for watching uh any tracker users let me know what you guys think about the update uh are you gonna do it now are you gonna use the parallel waveforms are you gonna go back to what you're doing before the original og way uh let me know want to hear your thoughts thank you for watching please like and subscribe and uh peace out <laughs>